Hello, Willie. Oh, is that right? Okay. She's in Auckland and she won't be back till Friday. Oh, okay, okay. That's so, right. so yeah, so I have to find another, or I have to just stay at Port Hose till I, I get, we all go to Waitangi to Team Marae on the 10th for that week. I've just tried to ring Port Hose and there's no answering this phone. Oh. It's away. Okay, I, I left them a message as well. Cause okay. I, because I've, I've already got my ticket, so I'm going to end up over there. On the side of the road, uh, in in uh, I'll, I'll just try and get Manahi to pick me up. If, oh, if, that, that'll be the one. Yeah, because I left I left oh, a, yeah I left a message with him as well, and uh, and um, uh, I, Bundy knows I'm going up as well, so I'm I meant to go I meant to go to Bundy's, but he said go straight to Port Hose. Yeah, don't come to the don't come to his court hearing. He can handle it. So that saved me worrying about going there, because I was going to go there and then go across to uh, put a hose from there and get hitch a ride from there. Cause my, I'm without my car, it's broken, <coughs> and uh, I've got no wheels. So I just have to use the bus or, or catch a ride from But I've got all my, my stuff with me, my computers and everything. You see? The, the meeting where? The me meeting where? Oh, okay, so you can't go to Bundy's one on the 5th? Oh, your one on the 5th? No, I can't. Oh, okay, so, so now that just leaves Porterhoe's one. That's why Bundy said we go straight to Porterhoe's. So, <clears throat> I've, uh, I've got to try and get across from Pai here. Uh, so, uh, no, um, uh, uh, Carl, I've, I've got somebody else's place I can go and stay over there. I'll, I'll just have to look around where to go. But I, I'll just have to try and contact them before I get there, or I'll, I'm waiting for money to bring me. You see? Yeah, well, the whole of Machi Dai, the Machi Kawa, they're in Auckland. Oh, oh, something. Oh, I see. That's right. I had to run a bloody mile. What's that? They're up there, they're getting tilted. I had to run a mile. Holy hell. <coughs> Holy hell, when I'm going up there to show them how to run a marae. <laughs> because that's what I used to do in the marais. I used to run them myself and, and, and I pay for everything uh, together with Mohi Managau. I, I did all the hooies with Mohi all the way through around all the place, in Kaipara and everywhere. Uh, and at the East Coast I do the same thing, I run the hooies and advertise it and, and, and then collect the, the money for the the, the koha and all that in my little box. I just uh, cut a box and cut a hole in the top and drop the, uh, drop the money in. So that helped, that worked, it worked. And uh, I did that in Tilna Waka Marae as well because that Mohi, Mohi was using that Marae um, instead of going to the Manarewa Marae or the Marae at the airport. <coughs> uh, he wanted to say go near next to the Wancha Hill where his tupunas are at the top. See? Yeah, that's why we went there, it's the closest one to the top. And, and the ground itself was where, the, where there was marais there, uh, around in the area. But it was, it was getting closer to, to uh, uh, Kafaru, the Giants Memorial up the top. We, we, we put the plaque there for it, but I, took, I got the plaque here. I, I didn't want to leave there because I was going to damage it. <coughs> but we... we but, yeah, yeah, and there's parks around the back on the streets. Uh, up, up the back around that area, so you always find a park somewhere for the car, or leave the car and jump on the bus and come, you know, leave it somewhere else and jump on the bus. Uh, and, and come there and drop off on the bus, it's cheap enough. That might be, that might be the easiest way to get in town. Yeah, you can hop on the bus. You, you can use your card, you can use your, your card to, to, to go on the bus anywhere. Yeah. You see, so you park your car way away in the middle of nowhere on a, on a side street. Uh, where there's free parking, then jump on a bus, the nearest bus. There's always buses running, but around town you'll find it hard to get a park, even, even around the area there. Because the locals, uh, they'll, they've got their own parking around there as well. You, you'll be lucky to get a park here and there. That's why I just park it way, way in Ponsonby, way around the back, and then jump on the bus, because it's free for us. Free for the senior citizen with a car. Huh? Yeah, go-kart. I use my go-kart and I just jump on the train and jump on the bus. 
So I had, I had to match up the, the bus to catch the mana bus in town. It starts at 5.20 in the morning, the buses, over here. But, and I just jump on the bus in the morning. But before 9 o'clock, you've got to pay for, for, the, for the gold card. They, they'll charge you before, before 9 o'clock, you see? So you've got to make sure you've got some cash on you to pay outside those hours. Uh, and, and and it's free from nine o'clock onwards. I, I only found that out when I jumped on the bus early in the morning. They said, "Oh, it says you got to pay." I said, "Oh no, it's free." He said, "No, no, uh, before nine o'clock you got to pay." So I had to pay three dollars eighty to get from Motu into into the city. See, because I go before nine o'clock, and so I've got to pay cash to get from here to to catch the mana bus at five thirty to catch the seven thirty mana bus. Um, 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 uh, that leaves at 7.30, see? So I make sure to get there at 5.30 and sit there and wait for the bus. And wait for two hours, I don't want to miss it, you see? Uh, and, and, and I don't want to miss a bus from out of here. If I miss the last bus leaves at 6 o'clock uh, and you'll get there with only 10 minutes to spare to check in, you see? Uh, uh, and, and there's the bus. It's, a, it's only cheap bus on the money bus to get from here up there. It's, it's, it's $27. <clears throat> it's nineteen. It's sixteen dollars if you get a week earlier, but if you if you're one day short or two days short, it costs you twenty seven dollars. Otherwise, it's normally sixteen dollars from here right to pay here. You see, so so I left my booking for the last minute because I had to see who's on the other end to pick me up. Otherwise, I'm I'm going to camp on the side of the road with all my gear. I just I'll sit there and, and and wait for the wait 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 for his arrive. That's what happened when uh, when he got a no car. The car overheated. Well, well, uh, well, we'll try to sort that out, okay? Uh, yeah. 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 Try to sort it out from your end. We'll try to sort it out from. Oh, I'm all sorted, just then. I'm I'm ready to go, and it's uh, just that's that. To pick you up, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. From that end, up 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 in Pahia. Yeah. Yeah. When I get there at midday, I'll be I'll be right there at midday, and from there I I need to get to Portohose, but I need to to ask Porterho first, can I come and stay with you? And I know he's going to say yes. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, we, we all know that too. Yeah, yeah, so it's getting from there to there. And yeah. the bus, there's no buses going. I've, I've tried to look for a bus going from, from uh, thing, and it costs an arm and a leg to get on a bus to go to Kaikoi from there. It costs more, three times as much as the mana bus coming from Auckland up there. Just to get a bus to go to Kaikoi. And you've got to go from Whangarei. You've got to go from Whangarei and, and catch a bus there. That's cost about 50, 57 bucks. See? So, so if I get someone... I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying Manahi uh, and uh, get him to pick me up because he's, he's in Ohio just up the road. Uh, and uh, I could get off at, uh, at uh, Kaukau and he can pick me up from there. Send me going to play here if I know he's going to pick me up. Okay, uh, okay, then, uh, okay, 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 bye, mate. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. That's the joys of my life without a car. I'm lost without my car. Um, I'm missing it now because I'm usually good on my car, but I'm going to fix it up properly this time. I'll just go down there and strip it because I'm a mechanic. A grade diesel petrol, and I thought I oh, hung my tools up and said no more. And now my fingers, I had to cut them because dirty underneath, and there's no nails from all the oil and grease. And so I'm going to fix it up at Jamie's place, <coughs> and uh, I'll have it going sweetly again. Not a problem, it's the time, it's the time, finding the time to do it. That's uh, the, the fact. I was talking on my video before and it ran out, but I was just saying. The divide between the Maori and Moai. Moai on this side, King and Paramount Chiefs, Moai, straight to Britain, straight there, not middleman. And here on this side is Maori and the Iwi and the Crown Queen, Victoria and Queen Elizabeth, <coughs> third party, third party to a two party King Paramount Chiefs contract. This is commercial where the money's made in the Admiralty. This is borrowing this side's authority as vice admiral to the admiral on this side, right? So the Queen and Maori have a problem. They have a debt problem. 
this side, the king and the power machine, is completely debt free. Completely debt free. No debts. And a power note, a flag, <coughs> a king, a moai, and a power around chief. What more do you want? What more do you want to make a clean start? You're either on this side, creditor, bank, creditor, or this side, bank, debtor, queen, fraud, iwi, Maori, like you see on the news, playing around with something that don't belong to it. It belongs to these guys. They are found out. They are going to get the bill from this side. 70% of the population of New Zealand is on this side. That we're putting that there so they can jump on this side out of that frying pan, rat race, into this side, right? Into this side <coughs> as creditor and register £25. That's all. £25 to put your mobile number on this side. No birth certificate, just the mobile number to put the money into from debtors into your account. Okay? Anybody. Anybody. But we check you out first. We check you out first before coming from that side that you have no debts owed and no criminal activity to come on that side. We're screening them out this side before you come clean. Come clean. Okay? So I'm saying the hui up north at Titi Marae and Auckland is going to be one or the other. You're going to be that side or this side. At the present time, <coughs> Naidu and the steering committee, Tainui and uh, Hauraki, are using the 1835 Declaration of Independence documents and the Treaty of Waitangi 1840 documents for their legal fight against the Crown of New Zealand in Wellington. That, just that, on the ground here. They've got a battle between themselves from one organisation to the other. One's going to outdo the other. And so we don't worry about them because Naidu, that's the American Indian uh, High Court Judge of the Federal State Government, is helping them to use those two documents as their legacy to win a case against the government in Wellington, Crown New Zealand, and Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria. They're up against that. And we're watching from this side with the Paramount Chiefs and the King with the title and the flag. Naidu on this side with those steering committee had nine days to conjure up their plan to put the notice on the government of Wellington like a writ. Right? A writ following what we're saying. They're going to do it and while the Parliament is in recess in the election times and move in while they're sleeping and take over. So that's what we tried to do before but never executed it because everybody wasn't in the right minds. I knew what was happening and I was, that's Mapilia, Hoepa Mapilia, and they used the Tuturi Whenua Act to do that to bring 80 incorporations together to use the incorporation to take the government out while it was in recess. It didn't work because they just didn't know how to do it. They weren't listening to Mark Hidia, and he said, repeal five acts of parliament in Wellington and you've got them. Well, Kurota, my, my tribe down the East Cape, got smart. That's Tutoku, uh, George Horsfall, and, uh, and uh, the others. Uh, Smith and from Escape and um, Jews, they elected to change a whole lot of uh, uh, resolutions. Their resolutions in Titi Marai was to change the whole thing, and that ruined it. it and walk, I walked out. I walked off and went <coughs> on a different path that was going to be the saviour of everything they do and everything the world does. They were only doing domesticated documents. And that's what Naidu said, that High Court judge, I wrote it all down, I, I filled up a book, a size book like this, gave me one, I said, give me the book. And I folded it right up and wrote just about word for word what Naidu said. And then uh, Hinare, 
Morgan from Taito, he said, you're not to copy, copy any of their, their uh, meeting of what they're talking about in my documents. You know, it looks just like mine. Just like mine and the way they're executing their documents. Fraud documents of the Treaty of Waitangi is a fraud because it's got no end date on its contract. It's a null void contract. So they're using that as their legacy and the Declaration of Independence 1835 of this flag as their authority to take the Parliament of Wellington out. Good on them. Good luck to the matter as well because as far as I'm concerned, I've been past that stage. And with Naidu experience in courts, <clears throat> i got nothing against that because he knows what he's doing, but he's using the Bible. The thing I have about Bible is it ruined this whole country in the first place. The Bible then, and the people running the racket inside the churches, church and state, right? and the Queen. Those three things, the Queen, the church and state, the Pope, <coughs> and Maori, and Maori put this country where it is now, in a third world status, a third world status, and debt, full of debt and destruction, right? So that's this side. So Nehru said to those um, chiefs of the, uh, the chiefs of the United Tribes, that's what they call themselves, like a confederation, chiefs of the United Tribes, I'm the last confederation chief in our group with Mohi Manikau and Mati Tarawa and, and Hare Tatonga and uh, Dan Davis and, and um, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Te Awihongi, <coughs> Mohi Manakau, uh, Hare Tatonga, uh, uh, Rihari Kake, Richard, Richard Kake and um, some more others, but, and me, and me. And so I'm the only one left out of that group that religiously came to the meetings all the time, right? I was following Mohi around like a truck in a trailer, grabbing all his knowledge in his head, his knowledge, because he knew what to do. And no one was listening because it was this sort of bank secret that his grandfather, John Rogan, taught him in Kaipara. So. <clears throat> I'm using all that and his ancestor, Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manakao, title, Moriori title, that now um, uh, Manahi Parapara Mahini will conduct in Auckland. Right? That's the JP of our documents and the stamp that we've got to authenticate our documents before I go to England. Okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Nodu says this, the American native High Court judge in the federal state government was called in by Henry, uh, Henry uh, Morgan from Tainui and um, um, Kevin Mabeth from Hauraki. Right? Those who, they had every right to get um, um, consultation to help them to put the legal documents together. I have no trouble with that. I, I, but the, it's the execution and the words coming out of Nairu's mouth that said they don't need a flag. The flag is a nullity. That's what he said. He wrote us off and offended me as the last Paramount Chief of that time. You see, Bundy wasn't in the Paramount group we were in and neither was uh, Manahi. They were on the... Manahi was in the Ratana and the uh, cooperatives with uh, Jerry Otimi and um, doing the tikanga things, the ariki and all that sort of thing. And um, um, Bundy was um, uh, on the marais. Uh, I might have seen him twice, once or twice, but he was not in this paramount. He is now in the paramount because he's got the right name to do it and the right nous to do it and the right bravery, comradeship to do it. Right? Comradeship. He, he has government, working in the government, in Nafar prison. And so he knows government systems to know how it works, and he's figured it out. And I have no problem with him stepping in as the um, um, leader, head of the um, Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court. Okay? So it's him that forces the law, that um, money is.
is in the courts to do the court work, and Bundy is there to do the police work. He puts the police together, the, the Maui Crown, King William IV Trust, and its budget to, to put a police force together that Bundy will be using to force the law. Force the law of the Whakamini and force the law of the Maui Crown Prison, Westminster Acts of Parliament, from King George IV period of time through to King William IV period of time and also King George III's time on top of it. Okay, the pound note uh, and the Bank of England Acts of King George III, the creator of the Bank of England Acts the, and the pound note and also the St. Patrick's Municipalities, the eight-point star on our flag. That king is our authority right from that start point with Te Rawakato Wharehere, he was the only one, Manukau, signed the contract to sell New Zealand and the Pacific Islands, all as one title. Okay? That's the founding discovery documents of Maui Crown. So that's all uh, I can say about that, um, apart from um, that, what I wrote down, <coughs> um, our new administrator and, and uh, Cecile Dudes uh, will transcribe uh, what was said in privacy because we have private, the flag is private, nobody's business. No one, no one can inquire what we do. We can, we can audit anybody under this flag because that's how you got on this flag. Not from a steering committee and a confederation of chiefs that was designed by Maori for Māori and themselves. Okay, This is not about Māori, this is about Moai, a king, and all the people in the world. 70% of the population of the world is under this side with the king and the Moai crowd. Fact, evidence, citations, the fact that it's true. And this side is got lots of holes in it, the queen and the Māori is a fictitious entity that can't prove its real identity. It cannot put in front of this side, the Paramount Chief, it's where it got its authority from and its jurisdiction. It has none of its own. It borrowed it from the Queen and who borrowed it from the King. You get it? You, you get what I'm saying? So this, these videos are very important to know who is running the record on this side, and it's the Maori themselves. It's the Maori, the Queen's people, and their documents. It's their legal documents I'm talking about. Not the people, it's the legal documents that says they own you and everything else. This side's saying they own you too, but they're telling you the truth. Oh, it's there for you to make money out of you. It's just like it's there for the Queen and all the elite people, they make money for the elite, not for you. So you stay on that side, fix your problems, and we just sit here watching you, watching us, force the law over the world, not just here, over the whole world, 70% of the population of the world from Britain, and us the partner. There, the British are watching, don't touch this side. You can play around with your side, but don't tamper as a third party. You're a third party over here. All the 30% of people in New Zealand are third party to a two-party contract with the king, who created the laws to make you occupy the land. Hmm? We can strip your titles off you. You're, you're, you're going to strip the title off your own shadow, which is the government of Wellington, your shadow because they put it up in the mirror and said, we are you and you are we. On this side, we'll say, we are we and we are we. And you over there, are third parties, have nothing to do with we over here. You see? That's how it works. <coughs> so I'm just waiting for a call from uh, uh, Willie. Willie's good, good, good man. He knows the churches. That's one good thing about a church. They, they know their, they know how they, put things together. We'll have our own place to have meetings. We won't have to run around in circles before long. They'll be running to us.
because they can't prove where they get the authority from. I'm just reading Manahi now, again. I hope he answers. Come on, Manahi. Get up! Get up, Manahi! Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey? Uh, yeah, yeah, but um, I'm going to fix it when I finish all our hui. The, the, the water hose, I, I put new water hose uh, and another one blew, and I, and I changed that one in the front where I can see it, but this time the one at the back flew, blew. So it means oh. it means stripping the, all the exhaust off the bottom to get to it, or from the top. I started stripping the top, and every time I pull a hose off, it broke. It's, 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 it's rotten, you know, hard. Oh. And so I said, I gave up and I said, no, I'm, I've got to go back up to Kaikoui and catch the bus. So I'm coming up, I'm coming up tomorrow morning up to Paihia, but I needed a ride, I needed a ride to Portohose or, or somewhere to stay. Otherwise I'm going to be parked up on the side of the road and Willie was, uh, Willie was, I was trying to, uh, Carla's in Auckland because I would have gone to Carla's place, but she's not there, she's, she's parked up there. They've gone to Ahui, how to run a marae. The, 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 all these losses, that's what Willie said, they all gone to Auckland to a, to a, 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 a function to how to run a marae. Yeah. yeah, so, so I, I need a ride from, from like get off at Kawakawa and go to Porahos. If, if, I can, if I can ask you to pick me up, then I won't have, I'm worrying at the moment because I already got my bus ticket on Mana Bus leave at 7.30 and get to, yeah. get to pay here at 12 o'clock. And so I've got plenty of time to get a ride from somewhere. Yeah, so, when is that tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Because tomorrow. I, I can drop off at Kawakawa on the side of the road and then get yeah. picked up or go straight into, into Paya and stay there. At least I can walk around and find a place to stay. Without, oh, what about I'm going to stay at Puro. I'm, I'm going to, well, Willie's trying to check it out. Okay. Willie's trying to check it up to stay there, but it's getting from where the bus is going to drop me off yeah. to there. And I'll be, I'll be safe to stay there right till our hui on the 10th. I won't go back to Auckland because I haven't got enough money to go flying all over the place. Now I've got money to pay for the car to get it on the road. Yeah. But I, I just need a ride yeah. uh, uh, from, like, I uh, asked the driver to drop me off yeah. at Kawakawa and pick me up because it's shorter from there back to Polo's. Okay. Instead of going into Paihia. Can you text, let me know when's, uh, when the bus arrives? Uh, uh, what time the bus gets Yeah, I'll, I'll send you the schedule. The, yeah. It gets it gets to uh, Paihia at 12.15, so that means it'll get to Kawakawa about, uh, about before, 12, yeah, about 12. So, so that's, that's looking at the ticket now because I've got all the details ready to go. I've just, of course, I'm worried because I'm bringing my desktop computer and my laptop because I'm going to stay at Puro and go through all the details of the of of that part of it before we go to to uh, to T. And I need the computer so I can bring the files up. Okay. You see, and 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 that way at Puro I can go on the internet. You see, yeah. uh, but there's no. Oh, Yeah, that, as long as I can, I, I know I, I got a ride, yeah. then I won't worry and, I, and yeah. I'll go straight into Pai here. Okay, uh, uh, if, straight into, uh, into uh, Kai Kai. Yeah, but I'll yeah. drop off the side of the road because it costs you more to go into Kai Kai and, and yeah. um, because the, the ticket is low to go to Pai here, yeah. so the bus is not supposed to stop. But on the side of the road, um, I'll just drop off the side of the road. At, uh, on yeah. the main road at Kawakawa, at the cross, crossroads on the main road going to Paia, if I know you're coming, I'll get off there, I'll just get off the bus and just sit okay. there. So I can sit there for as long as I like, so long as I know you're coming. If, if it's... No, I'll be there, I'll be there on, uh, at before 12. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's uh, I, just, I just know that the bus gets into Paia at 12.15, 12, so it's 15 minutes before that it'll be 12, that's when I that's why yeah. if I'm not there, the bus is not there yet, right? Okay. Um, so, no way. Oh, cool. Good. Now, now I'm, I'm not worrying because yeah. I can get my computers and everything no. packed, packed now. 
I'm packing up now and I've got all my documents so I don't leave something behind because I'm going to spend three or four days at Porau and then go and spend the two days at Titi Marae for our hui, yeah. for our hui yeah. and then I come back to Auckland on the bus after that from, from Paihia. Okay. Okay? That would be, yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, no, that's, that's good because we can wrap it all up because yeah. Willie has taken care of the Marae to Unga Waka Marae. He's, he's organised it and take it off me. Awesome. Yeah, so he, he says, no, leave it to me because you've got enough things to worry about. And that that's relieved me because he'll he's a Catholic he's a Catholic church, yeah, so so he knows right. yeah he knows those people, and and so he's just said well we'll, we'll he'll sort it out in just a koha, right a koha he said we just chip in a koha to pay for the thing whatever we get in a koha that's it, right? And I said to him I usually was a hundred bucks and they'll take a hundred bucks because it's him there, and and if it was someone else they would charge more. See, so that 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 eased that off me. So I don't have to worry. He can turn up any day, any time on 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 the on the Friday, and he'll he'll open it up earlier, like say ten o'clock or nine o'clock, so that we got plenty of time for people to come in and get organised. But the court hearing is from two to four o'clock. You see, so, yeah, the commercial side. He's understood now. He he's understood now that it's a commercial. Hui from two to four, and then it's all our talk from all night and all day the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. to explain how the connection from Fakamini up there into commercial business in Auckland, and so he got it now. He he, he understands how it works now. So that's yeah. why that's why he said, as long as I get a ride to Porohos, I'll be all right. He'll arrange it with Poro. I was trying to ring Poro and I left a message with him to yeah. to ask him myself. To ask myself oh, if I can say that, but Willie said, no, it's okay, you just go straight there. See? Yeah. And Bundy said uh, for me not to go to his court hearing because he's, he, he can sort it out. That's right. Yeah, he yeah. can sort you it out. You just give him the instruments. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sending it over soon to oh, his oh, wife oh, at, oh. at work so she can she can copy it and, and take it with him to the court. It's only a one page, but he can do it without me, but I said, no, just a backup. Yeah. It's a backup, oh, it's a backup oh, for you. And I was at uh, Jamie's mum, she's been in the Confederation for a long time, but never went wow. to Titi, but she, she knows how everything works and gave me a few, yeah. more, a few more good words. I'll show, yeah. you, I'll show you the words that she, she, she gave me to use. Yeah? So, so, so those fellas, those fellas uh, with the steering committee, that's yeah. alright, they can go ahead, Tainui and Hauraki can go ahead, because they are dealing with 1835 and... Uh, 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 a de declaration of independence and the yes. and the Treaty of Waitakere. They can battle that out because that what they're trying to do is while the government is having their recession and their part, see, they're going to try and take it over. You see, that 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 that's what that's what Mapiri was going to do, but it didn't work because the fellows didn't know what to do. So it didn't it didn't go. We should have got the country back longer back then, but but now now these fellows and that native Indian is going to do it. You see, but I'll explain it when I get up there anyway. They'll, we just we just let them do what they want to, and that'll put the squeeze on the government so fast and just go right over the top of them. Yeah, right over the top of them. Yeah, so that's that's weakening the government somewhat. Then then they're vulnerable now. So those fellows are, they're going to issue a notice this week. They're going to and and you know they they put their meeting for the twenty third, right, to take the country and the land. They they're going to seize the land. And and they they they're using they're using the documents that look like mine because I I, I wrote it all down and took took, took the thing of what the Navy was saying and so they they'll try and try and fashion themselves they can, they're welcome to it we're, we're not going to affect us no 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 yeah that's why I didn't feel like going yeah no no you're right you're all right to stay away because it it, it I, I went to listen my buddy one minute to listen what they're going to say. See? So that fellow, the Naidu, said, you don't need that flag. See? That offended, no. that offended me. So, so as long, I wrote it down. So as long as you said that, 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 that's where they're going with it. You see? And so they, they cut themselves away from us. And I've got it on record. They, they wouldn't let me. They were watching me all the time. This is the marshals. That, that John Morgan. Oh. They, they're using the Hawaii. See? He's using the Hawaii king or a king because he said, I'm here to represent the king, but wouldn't say which one. 
It's either either, <laughs> either the King Itana or the King of uh, Hawaii. And oh, yeah. mo uh, the marshals were outside patrolling to see if anybody was spying. And the marshals was inside to keep an eye on nobody filming and stop me from filming, right? They said, put the camera away. And I said, just my marae. And, and so they stopped me from having a photo with him and, 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 and uh, a video or writing notes to take away. And Henry, Henry, Henry Morgan came up to me and said, you're not going to use any of those, those uh, what you're writing um, in, your, in your things. And I, and I wanted to stand up and say, it looks like mine. You know? uh, I thought, no, nah, I better not spoil their hui. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and tell them, uh, yeah, you fellas are copying me. You fellas only been nine days, and nine days, and, and saying you're the Confederation of the United Tribes. Uh, I'm the last one of the Confederation standing here. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm from the Confederation of Chiefs that have gone and lumbered everything on me. Yeah, over 20 years. And I said, I can't see anybody left here who was at the meeting. <laughs> but anyway. They knew where we're coming from, but I, I didn't want to say too much. Um, but Carla was on our side. She, 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 she was there for the flag, and and those fellows were there to get rid of our flag and put the Tainui flag and put the Tainui 1835 flag there. You see, they're up to and Kingy's down there with them. You see, Kingy's down in Wellington. So they've got. The, that's why I got him away from us because he's gone with that lot of the Kingy stuff and and. And, and the Hauraki and, and Hauraki is coming up to T.T. Marae, where came in there to get the mandate from T.T. Marae to do, to, to tell you to shut your flag down because we're going to use the other one. Yeah? See? The, 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 the other flag, the Tainui's got. With, with the, with, with, saying, saying that's the flag, that's the King flag they're going on. That's the King William they're going on. Not the King William, but the T.T. Marae. And I found it insulting, but I didn't want to say anything. I said, I'll leave it for our week. But you know what Bundy did? This is what Bundy did. He's, he's very cunning. He had a, a, a little flag, a, a, you know, like a, a card, and he, he gets up and he, he says, I come here to give you an invitation to, to Henry and, and Kevin Mabeth and, uh, and, uh, and Naidu. He says, I'll give it to you, Naidu. And, he, and he, he looked away and he said, Oh, I'll give it to you, Henry. I said, Here. I'm, I'm actually. I'm giving you an invitation to come to our, our, our meeting, right? Yeah. And, and so he accepted it. So that meant that jurisdiction was given to him to come into our court to get a hiding. <laughs> 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 for, you know what? For, for ignoring the old power now chief sitting in front of them and, and, and talking over them, right? Talking over them. And, and they got no humie tahiki here from these chiefs. <laughs> it, it was two o'clock when the meeting was supposed to be finished, but see the lights went out and so the excuse was you can't have a, a, a kai till the, till the lights come off, on. I think they were playing around with the switch. I think they were playing around with the switch because when they fell up, got his Bible and he said, then rust comes down here and the lights started to flick. <laughs> In the morning they said, oh, somebody's over there flicking the switch to make it look like the fellow's Bible is, is going to... He, he quotes from the Bible, he quoted from the Bible and quoted from the Treaty of Waitangi and quoted from the Declaration of Independence. He said, you've got all the tools here. And I wanted to get up and say, oh, it's corrupted. Well, never mind. And I didn't, you see. Uh, and, and the lights went flipped on and off. They said, well, we're going to delay the meeting a bit longer. But then Bundy gets up and says, well, two o'clock, meeting finished, we're off. And, and so when he walked over with... with uh, um, uh, Hedewini, we walked out, me and Jamie walked out behind him. <laughs> and then we, we went and signed the, the stamps. I'm bringing your stamp. We went and signed the stamps. And, and, and then Maunga, John Maunga from the, um, uh, the uh, federal, uh, federal marshals came over. And he looking, and Hedewini came out and came over to see what we were doing signing things. Because they really thought we were going to go and shut them down. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the stamp to, to hand the stamp over. I, I made a contract for the stamp that they must use it for the right legal reasons. Yes. And and with and Bundy took oh. it away. Bundy took it away overnight uh, at the motel they were staying. And he read it. Yeah. When he came back the next day, he said, "Perfect. We understand what it is, and it, it binds us together to adhere to the British and us in the Paramount contract." Right. So that that. That means I didn't just throw it to them and say, go ahead and use it. No, they had to be very careful how they use it. 
Yeah, yeah. So I, I made sure to legally tie things up so right. that they respect the power of it because the British right. are watching what we're doing. They're yeah. watching what we're doing and get a foot wrong. That's why I said, Bundy, don't yeah. get a foot wrong. Always ask if you're not sure right. and I'll yeah. tell you. I'll tell you uh, what, sure. what, what it is. So Bundy now will put a police force together under our control because we've got the budget to put together on our governor boards, board of governors in Auckland and we'll be operating from there straight to Britain with, with the board of governors and, and the authority to form, to recruit and have a budget to recruit, he'll recruit our own police force because that's what Nadu said, well we have to increase the police to get over the other police, you see? That's right. So, so, so that's what, that was his other thing, get the police, get control and protect all our things. So we do the same. Yeah. Only thing is we can control and have them control. See those marshals, they, they, they haven't got a clue. They, they, haven't, right. they haven't been trained properly, right? We get proper yeah. people that know yeah. what to do and don't sit around, some of them half, half, half the uniforms and, half, and one is just wearing a t-shirt and, and a hat and a hat looks a little scraggy and walking around. And, and he's supposed to be representing the King of Hawaii, walking around like that, you know, walking around, walking around with a t-shirt on. And the other fellow, there's one fellow there, fully uniform and looking right, you know, looking professional, Pahia guy, right? So, so, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to contract out to them to do the job of Cook Street. We get professionals. As soon as we get our things in order and, and, and do it in the right fashion, then we will hire the police and, and necessarily put a contract on them to do the job. If we need them, if we need to do them. But I'll explain it when I come up, money. I'll explain it at, at Port Hose and I'll explain it again at because um, I'll have the whole floor to myself at Titiba, right? For the two days. The one I got there. I'll go through it step by step and you just jump in and in the party you did. And Bundy Bundy knows what to do. He's the enforcer and you're the one that makes law. Okay? It's like that. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow and and, and talk. Right. Thanks, thanks, yeah, uh, thanks for the offer. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Well, there you are. I'm making these recordings live. I show my hand. The other guy, Nadu, doesn't show his hand. Neither does the others. It's all in secret. He said to me, "You don't have to write it. We'll give it to you." Uh, no, no, I, 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 I write my own notes, thank you very much. I, I write what is said for my own sake. And I don't need someone less than a king to write what they say. See, I write the story, right? His story, the king's story and the paramount chief's story. I don't write anyone else's stories. So that's what I'm saying um, on this video, uh, is that everything I say is fact used as evidence in a magistrate court in Britain, the Westminster Magistrate Court, and in the Titi Marae Magistrate Court, Native Magistrate Court, and Ma Waitangi Magistrate Court on the other side, we're seizing the whole land, we'll seize the whole country after Cook Street, right? It's too late because you've been notified enough times. It's been notified enough times of a defaulted contract with everybody's face who's on line on Facebook and on YouTube. When your face appears in there, you can't escape because I'm assuming that the British says don't touch any of my things because I'm in a contract with them. I'm in a contract with the British Westminster government and the British Royal Navy. They are, they are our partners. The Royal Navy is our partners. Not so much Westminster government but the Navy, Royal the Royal British Navy, First Lord of Sea, Philip Jones, Sir Philip Jones. That's our legal, legitimate, lawful business, commercial trading bank, land, commercial landowners, contract partner. Under the flag of King William, jurisdiction of martial law to seize any land with a writ warrant of control and possession and property seizure straight off forthwith force look okay understand 
So that's my ride. I'm now feeling better because I have money to pick me up um, at Kaukau. Uh, I'll ring the um, bus, I'll tell the bus driver to drop me off on the side of the road and um, pay extra if it has to, to drop me off there because the bus won't have to go into Kaukau. I'll just drop off the side of the road. There's a place to pull up on the side of the road and, and drop me in my bags and I don't have to go into Pai here. Uh, if so, I'd have to go into Pai here if the bus so driver says no, we can't. But if if I have to, I'll have the cash to pay for him to drop me into Pai here, uh, into uh, Kaua Kaua, um like how they do. But you pay more to go off the track or stop at an unscheduled stop. But um, however, they'll, um, that's between you and the driver. That's what they say, they're flexible on that. It's between you to make an arrangement with the driver to drop you off, uh, because they can't just drop anybody here, there and everywhere. But Kawakawa is a drop-off point. Uh, so I'm hoping he will do that because money he will be waiting there. And um, if, if I don't, if I'm not there, he knows he has to go into pay here to pick me up there. But it seems a waste because it's on the way there. And uh, um, I'm not having to pay to go from Kolkata to uh, Bahia. But uh, however, um, we'll see. In the lap of the gods. Um, so um, um, I'm just packed my things up. Uh, after I finished Bundy's document, I'll post that off for him an email before the end of the day. And then start putting all my things ready to go. I'll, I'll finish off, carry on with my work up there. Okay? So, um, anything to add else to this uh, video? I'm just saying on this video that uh, I'm, I haven't uh, um, um, uh, relieved Desmond, my, my nephew, from his duties as being on the administration uh, until he gets more training from whoever. But I'm leaving everything in the management uh, that people who know what they're doing and I don't need anybody who is not up to scratch at dealing with public and having personal issues across the business. Uh, I had an indecision with him because I wanted him to take me up to the uh, hui's and um, uh, he said um, he can't just get up and go just like that. Uh, I said, I'm in a crisis, my car's broken and um, I need a lift. So I, I, it told me not to rely on anyone anymore after that. I won't be asking anyone who won't say they'll pick me up or do something for me at a crucial time like this. So with that, I um, and slammed the phone up in my face. That was that was really put me right off. I'm saying that on the video, Desmond. You should never have done that to me. You should have said I'm busy and I'm. Um, doing my course and I can't I can't take you up. But when you do something like that then and and, and, and do that to me, then I can't have you in a controlling situation doing that to someone else. And it goes for anybody else in, in the marshals. They're in a different jurisdiction, the, the US Federal Marshals, that's their name. I don't see uh Te Kawanata Ho Paul there. I don't see uh, a Marish, um, Gavin Marish there. You see, you, you see the Mickey Mouse, Gavin Marish, who led that group of U, uh, U, UN federal marshals onto Cook Street with John Munger, and Gavin was in charge, and Te Kawanata. Then John Munger steps in and takes over when they got onto the site, and that's where it went wrong, because they couldn't understand public complaints that called in the police. They, 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 they weren't up to it. And um, that's, however, it, and they don't know how they got off the case. They got off the case because of the citation of these documents I had, got them off because my barrister got them off and left me out of the court because I was going to the court hearing that day with them, or like my barrister said, my court hearing is the following week, not that week. And he went ahead and discharged everybody and me 
without me being in the court, in physical. Any court hearing that I've been convicted of a crime, I'm supposed to appear in there with them. He left me out of the court on that day and dealt with the others and used my citation to get them off and then covered it over. He covered and covered the fraud on the land title and that's what we got against him. The police helped to cover the case as third parties to me and the landowners in a two-party private contract. They tampered with my case between me and the landowners. This time I'm going with the Paramount Chief to clean them out, to clean them off the land and seize it legally, lawfully and legitimately because I'm holding the titles and the Paramount Chiefs are holding titles to their surname and their ancestors. They claiming the ancestors have got on the stamp and that stamp is the authority and jurisdiction of this country and the Pacific Islands for that matter. Okay, that's just the Whakaminia, the real Whakaminia, not the other 1835 Whakaminia that's on the Queen side or this side, right? The Whakaminia that is